Hi, so I want to talk to you a little bit about the up-and-coming battery making seminar. So if you've got it into your head that you need to be a chemist to do this, you don't. The whole thing is meant to be easy to do. You can do it in your kitchen. You can do it with a few bits and pieces you will already have around you, plus the kit. The kit's got the harmless chemicals in there, the current collectors, some ways of demonstrating it, and other few bits and pieces of equipment you're going to need that you probably don't have lying around. Other equipment you're going to need is pretty limited. So you need some kind of receptacle, and coffee jars would do fine, jam jars, glasses, anything like that, a couple of those, and you'll find those just lying around. Um, some kind of funnel, because we want to do some filtration, ordinary kitchen funnel will do it, or even a tea strainer will just be fine in some way of measuring out the amount and a kitchen jug will just be fine because it's not exact, it's not meant to be exact it's meant to be an inexact, relatively inexact way of making a material that is going to work in a battery and the idea is if you've sat there and worried about making batteries or you've made batteries and you've not had much success that we can make this kitchen version together and it will work. You're going to have success with this. Now what we're making is called the Prussian Blue Analog. So if you want to go to Google and put in Prussian Blue Analog, you'll find an awful lot of battery research papers if you want to read around the subject that we're going to be covering when we do the seminar. Now there are periods of time in the seminar we'll have to wait. So there's a couple of guys coming in to help and we're going to go through it with these guys as if I was going through it with you. It's live, obviously, so if you hit a snag, you can write a question and we can cover that stuff again to get you through that battery-making process where you might have been afraid of doing it because you don't need a chemistry lab. Your kitchen and a few bits of kitchen equipment are all you need. Now, that's the minimum. Anything else is going to be gravy, so to speak. Um, if you have one of these or you want to get one of these, it's a jeweler's balance. Now, we will be guesstimating the amounts, because it, it doesn't really matter. It's very forgiving. We'll, we'll guesstimate the amounts. But if you get one of these, we will also do the weighing version so that you can weigh it out. And this weighs a few parts of a gram. They cost about £10 off eBay, something like that. Now, we've given you things in the kit to demonstrate your battery's working, but you might want to take some measurements. So you could get a digital multimeter if you want, or if you've already got one, you can use your digital multimeter. These range from anywhere from about £10 at a do-it-yourself store up to thousands of pounds from scientific instrument stores. It really doesn't matter. You don't need those two things. The basics you've needed are the couple of jars, a funnel, maybe a tea strainer, and some kind of measuring jug. That's all you really need above and beyond the kit. And the seminar is going to be a couple of friends of mine coming in, we'll open the kit, they've never made this before, they're not battery experts, and they're going to make the battery while I assist them in making the battery. Now the energy density of the material you'll make is uh, around about 120 milliwatt hours per gram, so 120 watt hours per kilo. It's pretty good. Lithium ion is between 100 and 120 watt hours per kilo as well. Lithium ion is that kind of energy density for the entire device. This is the energy density for the active material you're going to be making. The device is going to differ because you're going to have different construction that you might want to do. But it's a nice material. It'll work really well. It'll give you some nice results. And you don't need to be a chemist to do it. You really just need a willingness, a bit of experimentation, and a bit of kitchen space that you're going to have to wipe down afterwards. But you can do this anywhere with the barest minimum of equipment, and that's the whole point of it. So the kit is available for sale now at the shop and the um, link is in the description just below the video. We're hoping that you buy the kit and that we see you in the seminar and that we get making batteries together. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you and thank you very much for watching.